hi everyone i hope you are well today and welcome back to the channel today's tutorial shall be the making of this beautiful kaftan with skill hole you can make this style in less than 15 minutes so that is what we're going to be making today to get started you're going to be needing your desired kaftan length and also your shoulder measurement so that is what you're going to be needing and then you're going to be folding your fabric into two so i folded this fabric into two as you can see it and the folded parts will be at the top so this will be our shoulder line we're not going to be cutting this line so make sure that the, the folded part is at the top line and as from that top line you're going to be measuring your desired kaftan length so in my own case i have 25 inches which is my hip length measurement plus one inch seam allowance so from the top line now which is the folded part i have 26 inches so that is the length and then to determine the width what you are going to be doing i will fold this into two so that you can understand what will determine the width of the of the fabric you are going to be cutting out so as you can see i folded this into two now and then i will show you what you need to calculate in order to get the width so first my shoulder measurement so my shoulder measurement is 16 inches and you know that we divide that into two so dividing that into two i have eight inches so the remaining seven and a half inches that i have here is my sleeve measurement and the seam allowance so remember this is like a kimono style and we are cutting together the sleeve with the style so if you want your whole sleeve to be nine inches for instance it means you're going to be cut you're going to be adding nine inches and the seam allowance nine and a half inches to your shoulder measurements so that is what we determine the width so now in total i have 15 and a half inches and re you remember that this is cut on fold so if i open it up like this so if i open it up like this i will have 31 inches so now i can say i cut out 31 inches for the width and then 26 inches for the length and because this is on fold so you're going to be calculating to multiply the 26 inches by 2 so all together i have 31 inches by 52 inches so i hope you understand this so now that you understand how to calculate the width and the length of the Kaftan. so let's move on to cutting it so this is a shoulder measurement from the center front or the center back and then we're going to be inputting the neck uh, width and the neck depth so depending on how you want it and remember that this style we are not going to be adding any sip so just make sure that the neck width is a little bit wide so that you'll be able to put it on so here i will be using four and a half inches for my neck width and then for the neck depth i will use four inches and then i'm cutting the same thing for both the front and the back and then after that i'll just use my free hand to draw a, a nice curved neckline like this so can you see that and after that you're going to be inputting your waistline measurement so my waistline measurement is 16 inches so this is 16 inches right here and that is the only measurement that we need so this is the waistline measurement so once you've drawn out the waistline measurement so we're going to be dividing our waist measurement by four so my waist measurement divided by four is eight inches so I will first of all mark eight inches so you need to add extra is allowance to it so I will add extra is, is allowance of two inches to it. So that means I'll be marking 10 inches right here. Like this. And then the next thing I want to do is to determine the, the length and the width of the keyhole. So what we determine the, the length of the keyhole will be the belt that you will insert into it. So if your belt is three inches, it, you can make the length three inches or three and a half inches so just make sure that whatever you are cutting out is enough for the passage of the belt so here i will mark three inches for the length 
so i'm marking it in between this line so three inches as you can see the line is in between the the length so from this line now i'm marking one and a half inches which is the diameter of the circle and then i'll just use my free hand to draw a nice uh, circle like an oval shape like this so depending on how, how wide you want it but you don't want to make it too wide so i'll just leave the circle like this and then we're going to shape the hip line so to shape the hip line is very easy just use your free hand to shape it give it a nice curved shape at this end and then you shape it to the m line like that and then we're going to be trimming this off so you can see we have a nice edge at this uh, end and also we're going to be trimming out the neckline So now we have the neckline and then we're going to be cutting out the circle that we have here. So what you're going to do is to snip it a little bit. So I will fold it like this. You can see the way I'm doing it. So I will fold it like this and then I will just cut it a little bit. Can you see that? So we have a little hole and that will be the guide for me to cut it out so just be careful when you are doing this then i will cut out the shape that i have there So you can see we have the hole already so i will just open it up for you to see what we have here so can you see that so to sew it now the neckline we're going to be using a bias tape for the neckline and then for the edges i will use my weaving machine or you can just fold your fabric into two and then you you stitch it round to have a neatly finished keyhole uh this is what you're going to do. You can use a bias tape to, to finish up this keyhole, but it won't be as neat as uh, the way you even want it. So it's a little bit tricky, but once you, you can watch this part over and over again so that you can understand it better. So what you're going to do is that you will flip, you open up this. This is the right side. This is the right side. We have the wrong side inside. So just open it up like this. So I'm putting my hand on it like this i'm touching the right side if i put my hand on it like this i'm touching the right side and i want the two right side to face each other so that we have a neatly finished keyhole so what i will do is i will just turn the right side in a little bit so can you see i have the right side here and i will also turn the right side here in a little bit then you place the two right side together like this so I hope you understand that. Let me explain that again. So I put my finger here. I'm touching the right side. I put my finger here. I'm touching the right side. So these are the wrong side. So I want the two right sides to face each other. So while you are still folding your fabric like this, so pick the this part, which is the right side. Pick this part, which is the right side. You can see the right side here. And then you place the two right sides together. So you place it right side together and then you pin it down. Once, once you are at this stage, you will understand it. So if I open it up now, you can see what we have at the right side. So that is what you will do round it. So again, I will pick the right side here, pick the right side here, and then I will place the two together. I will pin it together and it will go on and on like that. So, so you can see the circle now. 
so once you've done the the first one it will be easy for you you just continue placing the right side together and pin it down so you pin it down and then I will pin it down once more so again like this and then I will also pin it down so once you pick the first one it will be very easy for you so you just stitch it round like that you follow the round shape or any shape that you have there and then you stitch it round so once we once we are done stitching and then we turn it out this is what we will have so we do the same thing to the other side and then to the neckline like i've said we're going to be using a bias tape to finish it up and then the edges you can just fold in the edges and sew it round or you use your weaving machine to do that so all right guys so as you can see i finished the neckline so this is what the neckline looks like and i've also stitched the the side and the m line and this is how the keyhole looks like you can see how neat it is both at the back and at the front so this is what the inside looks like so can you see that so that is how to achieve a neatly finished keyhole so just go ahead and notch it round so that it will be flat and then you iron it so once you are done with the keyhole and every other thing just go ahead and make a belt and then you are done with your kaftan with keyhole and start rocking it so guys we've come to the end of today's tutorial i hope you find this tutorial helpful if yes don't forget to give this video a thumbs up leave your comment down in the comment section share this video with your friends and family and remember to subscribe to this channel if you are yet to do so till i see you guys in my next one have a wonderful day bye